Hey, we're back again. Today I'm going to show you the ins and outs on setting up an um, art festival event. So I'll be showing you some pictures and videos, um, the ins and outs, and um, how I set up and the work that involved in having an event. It's a lot of work. Um, I like it. It's fun and you meet more, a lot of people uh, and also... Um, you meet people that likes your or connects your art so this is just to share you what i do all right i'll be showing you different um art event that i went to and set up or um, bring my art to display this particular event i have to set up on a 12 by 12 area so I have to bring my grid my tables and I had to leave I think it was 5 a.m. in the morning and I had all my art supplies art displays and products in my car and this is the venue this is the early in the morning so taking out all the grids the tables and the bins and getting ready to set up so I have a two by four metal grid for display and also I have a table for display. I have three tables, depends on how big the event is. Um, and I usually have a table for little trinkets like tiles, um, wood panels, and I have easels that I display my artwork. Um, each of those artwork that in it's in the grid, the black grid, I have to hook them. So there's a lot of work involved when setting up in an event. So all those little tiles, those are tiles. You have to set it up and make it look nice, uh, display it properly make it look visible and all that so a lot of involves on this um, especially the grid part because you have to hook each of those little ones on the grid and it usually take me an hour and a half to two hours to set up so I have to be there earlier before the event starts so as you can see um, it's both side in this section um this particular event i use the both side of the metal grid sometimes you can only use one side um, because of the event now we usually have spaces but usually you don't really have additional space and if your neighboring um if your neighboring spot is also like that one in the tent so you can only use one side of the grid so if you get lucky you can use both so event can be a, a very huge event it can have 200 to 300 vendors and it can also be just 50 vendors it depends on the um, festivals that I join and I try to have a nicer flow in my setup. So this one is a huge event that I went. This is the second event that I went this year. Um, this particular one is a holiday market that we have in one of my art group. So there's 20 plus or 30 plus artists, participating artists in this one. So this is some of the work of other artists um, I have a spot that I can display my art and participate it's a very unique nice way to uh, exhibit and show your art especially if you are a beginner in, in the art world if you want to explore and um, expose your work in the world so join art groups and they will help you do some of this stuff as you can see there are different styles 
of art that you can see. They even have um, soap, candles, jewelries, um, 3D, 2D, different kinds. So this is my setup on that section. And I have print, I have original as well. Another event was, uh, this is an inside event. Um, I have to use a different setting. I didn't have my grid metal on this one. I did have the netting since um, if it's inside, I don't really need to have a heavy metal grid. I can use the netting section. The frame of the netting is um, not heavy, so it's easier to set up. And I still have tables. Um, you still need to to design how your flow of your setup so you can have more client to go to your booth. Um, this was lucky because I can use both sides as well. So each of those painting that you saw, I have to hook it and hang it in the net. So there's a lot of work involved. Every event has a lot of work. And you have to really design it properly to maximize your space so you can display um, more art. The more art you display, the more um, exposure you get and the more selling point you get. This one is another of that holiday market in our art group. It's just another video that I took. So it's a nice venue. Um, we usually do it every year. Like I said, I really love this group. Um, it, it's really a great experience as an artist to have a, a supporting, very supportive group. And this is one of the coffee that one of the member of our group that uh, um, he produced the coffee itself for free but uses our art as a label. Another one that I tried to is the Artist Co-op. Um, it's a place that you can participate and add your artwork as a display in a like artisan store setting. So I added some of these artwork in there. Um, they usually send me some check every month if I sell something and it depends on an artist if you want to leave your artwork there for a month or replace it. Another a good way for sure for a beginner artist that you want to get an exposure and sales of course um, this is a good place to put your artwork and have your artwork um, display. So far I sold some per the owner and I love them. They're very friendly and accommodating. So this is the artist co-op um, located in Winsboro. So again thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video and you have a good day.